be performed if the dental nerve, known in Latin as the pulpa, has died and or is infected. As a patient, you may or may not experience pain leading up to a root canal. Some causes for the pulp dying include deep-seated caries, severe heat during the cutting of a tooth. Pulp will sometimes die because of chemicals used by the dentist, for example, white fillings called composites. The commonly referred to dead tooth can lead to acute, even life-threatening complications at any time because the necrotic dental nerve tissue can cause acute infections. These are called abscesses. If you'd like to find out more, please look for the video entitled Abscess. The objective of a root canal treatment is to completely remove the destroyed tissue, which may also be infected with bacteria in some cases, from the interior of the tooth, so that the infection is prevented from spreading to the bone. The tooth is connected to the bone through numerous small canals at the end of the root. Since a complete cleaning of the interior of the tooth is never 100% successful, the dentist attempts to close the pulp cavity tightly with a special compound so that any remaining bacteria inside don't have space to multiply. This means that absolute cleanliness and a sterile working environment are a prerequisite for any root canal treatment. In order to facilitate this in the mouth, it's imperative that the dentist works with a coffer dam, because this is the only way to prevent saliva from reaching the interior of the tooth. More on that in the video entitled, Coffer Dam. Saliva contains many different bacteria that can endanger the success of a root canal treatment. Here you see a coffer dam insulating the tooth from the tongue, other teeth, saliva, and blood. Furthermore, it's very important to work with sterile instruments. Here you see a root canal treatment box wrapped to preserve its sterility. It's open just prior to the root canal treatment. The various instruments are neatly arranged. However, in far too many cases, root canal work is performed with unsterile instruments. Instruments are placed openly in simple foam rubber racks, as seen in the image here. With the aid of sterile instruments, the dentist can begin to clear and clean the interior of the tooth. Special solutions are used intermittently for rinsing in order to remove tooth chips, cell debris, and bacteria. It's important that all canals are reconditioned. Most teeth have several canals. Three of them are shown in this image, and the instrument is placed in one of them. Therefore, a precise and cautious dentist always works with magnification such as medical magnifying glasses or even a microscope. The dental canal must be fully reconditioned all the way to the root end. The length of the root is ascertained by means of x-rays and measuring aids, as can be seen in this image. Only a well-reconditioned tooth filled all the way down to the root end can be preserved permanently. If the tooth has a strong foul odor, if pain is experienced, or if there is severe bleeding from the interior of the tooth, then a final filling of the tooth's interior should not be done. In such cases, a medication, the yellow paste seen here, is rotated into the tooth, which is then tightly sealed for a couple of days. However, the temporary sealing material must be absolutely saliva-proof. That's the gray compound seen in the image, as it keeps the tooth tight for about one week. Another session must take place no longer than a week after the initial session. Otherwise, bacteria from the saliva would enter the interior of the tooth and the entire previous procedure would have to be repeated. Once the inside of the tooth is completely clean and the tooth no longer causes any discomfort, then the interior of the tooth is tightly sealed with a special compound. The tooth should also be tightly sealed from the top, in effect from the access because only then is it guaranteed that bacteria can no longer enter. On the left, you see an x-ray of a tooth with a good root canal treatment. The interior of the tooth has been homogeneously and tightly filled right down to the root end. On the x-ray, it's the light strip within the interior of the tooth. Such a tooth is able to provide valuable service for an entire lifetime. On the right, you see an example of a tooth with a badly executed root canal. The root in the front was not filled at all, while the rear root was only filled halfway. Such teeth can cause trouble even after many years. 
and can lead to a variety of complications, such as an acute bone infection or an abscess. In this case, a root end resection and or a tooth extraction would be necessary. One possible alternative to a root canal is a tooth extraction. That makes prevention the best alternative. The risks associated with a root canal are Instruments breaking during root canal treatments The dentist missing root canals A perforation of the canal and the dental crown Over-instrumentation with respective possible consequences, such as maxillary sinusitis you can learn more about possible problems with root canal treatments in the video entitled Complications